Hello everybody. We are on another hill walking adventure. We were going to go up uh, Benan, which is a nice and easy walk. And you get a great view over Loch Katrine. But it was not meant to be, the car park was full. And we managed to get a space in the Ben Venue car park, which is a mountain which is about twice the size. So I guess we'll be going up Ben Venue. This is fine. And I hope you stay with us. So I'm pretty sure that's the mountain I was planning to go up Ben Anne. Up there has a great view over the area. But this is the little monster we're going to go up. It's called Ben Venue. It is a rather uh, do you say attractive? Yeah. <laughs> Can the I mountain would. be attractive? Yeah. Rather attractive looking mountain then. Such beautiful autumn colours. I think we came here at the right time. There's all these neat small rocks on the side of the path. So does this count as part of the Western Highlands? Uh, We're in the Trossachs. Uh, or is it just on, on the border? It's Yeah, I would say so. So the Cairngorms are very flat and the Western Highlands are very rocky and this is a, a bit of an in-between. Ooh, I can hear something. This is beautiful. Yeah. Can I just say I'm really happy that we ended up going and then you are not been on because I just love when there's no people around <laughs> and there's no people on this walk. Oh, there was a couple, but yeah, there was a couple, but um, I could see all the people piling up on top of Benan, and then I'm just a mega introvert, I guess. People drain my energy, and I just feel so energetic being in this place when nobody's around. Seems that we are walking around the side of the mountain and we'll probably go up around that way. And so the view has opened up quite a bit and you can see the whole range here. Are we properly equipped? I hope so. Let's find out. <laughs> can you hear the ravens? Oh, they're up there. You can see the lochs already. I think that's Loch Vanachar. If I'm not mistaken, I think Loch Katrine is on the other side. So we are continuing on this flat path. It's a pretty long walk. I think it's about 8.75 miles, which is roughly 15 kilometers there and back. Which one of these mountains we're we going up? Are we going up that one? I'm pretty sure it's that one. Uh, you think that one? Yeah. So it might be this peak there, but can you see the nice waterfall? I think I'm going to zoom in. It seems to just be coming out of the rock. Where does it come from? So this is the hard part. 
is getting rocky. It appears that we have found the top of this waterfall. In the meantime, we are trying to find our way through the bog. The ring's really wet, trying to get over there. Waterproof footwear is a must. This is what we're dealing with here. Lots of mud. There's another path going there, but we're getting up, going up there. Once you come from down there, you get this. Wow, is all I can say. This is not even the top. So this mountain could be one called Belech. It now looks beautiful. But we're gonna continue to go up there just now. So there it is up there. Oh, oh it's out of breath in these videos. Oh, so that's the peak. The path continues to be pretty perilous looking. It's all the way there. So there's a bit of rain brewing over there. Let's see if it can remain dry. Look at those beautiful colours. Yeah, you can do boat tours on Loch Katrine like that. So there we are. That's the top, the official one. <sighs> well, I guess it was definitely worth it. We have found Hogan and Munan on top of the hill. And this is Loch Katrine. I think we've picked the absolute best time to come here, considering the colours. And the sun is not out at the moment, but still. But look at this view. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I can see all the way in the distance. I wonder what loch that is. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Loch Lomond actually. Ah, Loch Lomond, yeah. This reminds me of a fjord. Now, do you see the road down there? It would be so cool to drive along the, the loch. Oh, that's a... Uh, God, what hell did we even go up? Ben Venue. That's Ben Venue over there. And I wanted to come over to the other side to get a whole view of the Loch, Loch Catherine, Loch Katrine. Like the whole beautiful view. So here we are, Loch Katrine. Um, on the way up, a man came past us and he said, when he was up there, the sun was shining and really nice, but I feel like one shouldn't cry over lost opportunities, so this is fine. We might come back and have a much nicer view some other time. For now, we will have to come down the mine. Oh yes, um, I have a hole in my glove. I was going to rate this walk as well, so um, 
in terms of difficulty, I would rate it 4 out of 5. Maybe 3.5. The first part of it is really quite doable, quite easy. But then going up to the actual peak is quite... Um, it's fairly difficult because you have to kind of climb up on rocks. But at the same time, you don't have to do actual rock climbing. Like some higher mountains. So... I think it's doable. Um, it didn't pose too great of a difficulty for us anyway. Yeah, I don't know what else there is to say. One last pan. The end of our madness is revealed as we make our way down. Straight down the side. It's totally doable though. I know it's doable. Update. Here's the top. And here's the path that we're trying to get down to. Ta-da! So basically, if you remember all the mud and all the rocks we had to climb up, we avoided all of that. So sometimes it pays off just to be mad. Although, please be safe. Because I knew that I was going to make it. <laughs> so this is one last stop on our journey. A viewpoint which is right next to the car park of the beautiful Loch. Benan up there. And also the mountain we've just been up. Ben Venue. So thanks for coming along today and um, if you like the video please leave a thumbs up and I hope to see you back for our next adventure. Thank you for watching.